guys, YouTube Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be starting off with a poster frame. I'm actually going to be starting off with an old sheet from another poster frame that I've had at home for a while. And I'm going to be making light pendant. This is what they have on Amazon. But then someone sent this to me and it blew my mind. This was on Instagram and I had to go to the page and look for this particular lamp. And I was searching for more, but I saw just that one. And they're also selling the lamp. So if you guys want to buy it, you can check them out. I'm going to DIY this lamp because I know my friend sent that photo to me just to see if I would DIY it. And yes, I'm going to give it a try. After measuring it, I cut out the pieces with an acrylic sheet cutter. The cutting tool made this part of the DIY so easy. Now each piece is going to be 4 inches by 24 inches. All I'm going to do now is join these pieces together with tape. Just so you know, I got the acrylic sheet cutter from Home Depot, but I will leave a link for something similar down in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. The tape will hold the pieces together while I make the shape. The next thing I'm going to do is cut out pieces from a foam board and glue it on to the acrylic sheet. The measurements that I'm going to be cutting out is going to be 6 inches by 4 inches. Now I'm going to have some of the squares that are for the 4 inches a quarter inch more. I'll have 6 inches by 4 inches at the top and at the bottom and then I'll have 6 inches with 4 and a quarter inches by the sides. I'm going to seal off the edges with hot glue. Now, if you don't want your corners to be like this, instead of having the two inches that I added a quarter inch to each and every one of them, you can make it half inch instead of a quarter inch. So that way it covers up the edges. I'll be making five pendant lightings. So I'm going to need more poster frames. So I got them from Michael's craft store. I used three large poster frames for this project. And like I said, cutting it was so much easier 
with a cutting tool. This is a project that's quite easy to make. I am making five, but you can make yours three if you like. Now I have four more that I have just made. That's gonna add to the other one, making it five. Now I'm gonna be covering the acrylic sheets with Mod Podge and I'm using a gloss Mod Podge so that when it dries, it will leave a nice glossy shiny effect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle crushed mirror glass over them. I got this particular type from Michael's craft store. But then I do have one particular one that I use most of the time for my DIYs and I will leave a link for that down in the description box below. After this was dry, I flipped it over to the second side and repeated the same thing. I let this stay for about 30 minutes and flipped it over to the third side. Now you don't have to wait for it to get completely dry. You just have to make sure that the crushed glass is glued on firmly enough that when you turn it over, it won't fall. And then when you're done with all the sides, then you can wait for them to be completely dry before you continue with the project. I'll be using fishing lines to suspend the lighting from the ceiling. And these are strong fishing lines. Now I'm just going to cut very long lengths and tie them around craft sticks. I had measured the top of the pendant lighting earlier and after I got the shape that I wanted, I passed the craft sticks through them. When the crushed mirror glass was dried on the acrylic sheet, I brought it in to attach what I just made to it. But before that, I'm going to be attaching push lights that already has an adhesive tab at the back of what I just made. And I'm going to be attaching it to the main structure with a hot glue gun. I'm going to be covering the top with gold contact paper. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. To make the strings stay upright and to also make them look better when they're mounted, I'm going to be using this set of pens that I got from Michaels and I'll be using just the golden covers. I'm going to use this piece of wood that I've had at home for a while and cover it with gold contact paper and this is going to serve as the mounting plate. I clean the wooden parts properly before then attaching this adhesive tape. The link for this is going to be down in the description box below. Now you don't need this much because this holds a lot of weight. 
but it's always good to be safe than sorry. The side here is going to be removed when I'm mounting it up on the ceiling. I'll be using cup hooks to hold the pendant lightings. I got this from the Dollar Tree and I'll be tying the strings onto the book rings before mounting them. I'm going to be hanging all five pendant lightings that I just made. But like I said earlier, if you don't want five, because it's going to be a little bit too much for you, you can make just three and it would still look pretty. I'm just going based off on what I saw in the photo and the pendant lightings were five. I'm using a remote control lighting for this to make it easy for me to turn the lights on and off. You can get remote control lightings from Walmart and if you don't have Walmart where you are, I'm going to leave a link for something similar to it down in the description box below. I really do appreciate you all for taking the time to watch my video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.